Hello, this is Doc Martin. I'm traveling on today to the market in Luanda, Angola. I'm here at this marketplace in Luanda. I've had a great time in Angola. Some people wonder why I like to travel around the world. Let me tell you, there's two good reasons why I do. Number one is I love to see people get sin out of their life. Let me show you a little clip from one of the services here in Angola where people are repenting of their sins. To take my sins away. I ask you right now. Forgive me of my sin. Wash me in your blood. I hope that you enjoyed that. I want to tell you something. There's a second reason I love to travel around the world. I love to see people baptized in the Holy Ghost. Here's a little clip of some people in a great conference service receiving the precious Holy Ghost. This country was divided by a terrible civil war. A million and a half people lost their lives during that period of time. Almost every family in Luanda is affected. Trucks of soldiers would pull up in front of the church and go into the church and take the young men out of the church. Young men as young as 13 years of age would be called off to the army to fight in this war. It was a terrible time. They'd go into people's homes and search under their beds and look for young men to carry off to the war. People were hurt deeply. One of the pastors told me the war is over. In fact, the war ended 11 years ago, but he said the war is still in people's mind. You know, the truth of the matter is you can't have peace until you have Jesus Christ in your heart. When you know the Prince of Peace, that's when real peace comes. Now, I want to tell you today, there is a peace the Bible says passes all understanding, and that's the peace that you receive when Jesus Christ is your Savior. I love the illustration of Jesus when he came into Jerusalem riding on the donkey. The Bible says that donkey had never been broke, never been rode on before. Do you know how hard it is to break a donkey for riding? And yet when the Prince of Peace was sitting on the back of that donkey, that donkey was at peace. You might have turmoil all around you today. You might feel like your life is in a war. Maybe your mind is in a war. But Jesus Christ loves you today. And Jesus Christ wants to give you that peace that passes all understanding. It's not here in your head, but it's here in your heart. I want to pray for you right now that Jesus will give you that peace. Heavenly Father, I thank you for everyone that's watching this video today. And I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ that you would give each person a peace that passes all understanding. God, touch their hearts. Change their lives today. Peace, peace, wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. I'm praying for your peace today. That's my message for you from... Luanda, Angola, and now I'm traveling on.